Hi everybody, Jo here again. Welcome everybody. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas break and it's New Year's Day here in the UK and obviously depending what time you're watching this and where you live, it may still be New Year's Day with you. If it is, I really want to wish every one of our lovely crafty friends on here a really happy and healthy New Year. Honestly, I mean that so much. Now, with it being the start of a new year, also start of a new month. And as you know at Lavinia, we have a challenge every month. And the theme for this month's challenge is Magical Woodland. So I thought today I'd pop in and create a card that would be fabulous for the challenge. I mean, the winner is chosen at random and you can win £40 to spend at Lavinia. So think what you could buy with that. Stamps, stencils maybe, sticker stencils. Who knows? And magical woodland. I mean, to be honest, I was spoilt for choice. I have my stamps organised in um, topics and I have one of my um, containers that's for trees. And I've got to be honest, I didn't realise how many tree stamps I had and I was couldn't believe it. it's so much choice. Anyway, I've gone for this design and this is what I thought we'd we'd create today. As always, I've got my lovely matching envelope. Now, Magical Woodland, that's just the starting place. You could, oh, as I say, so many different designs you could create. My mind was buzzing. But also, don't forget, this doesn't have to be a card. This could be a journal page. In fact, my topper I create, I may actually put in my journal and then I've got my card and my journal page to match. So I'm going to put this to one side. Now, this is a six by six card. Also, I'm aware quite a lot of you like to do your sort of rectangular, your oblong cards. So this could also be just create a little bit more width to it. You could stamp the trees a little bit more. So again, you could elongate the design. So if you're not into your square cards, you could easily adapt this. Now, as I say, I've got a piece of multifarious card here and this one is five inches square. And the reason I've gone for that is quite often I use my Lavinia Low Tack Tape, but it just happens our lovely new sticker stencils, and you know I struggle over it saying that, set five has got this lovely square in. And what it means is that if I use the outy part look, and again, I would always recommend keeping it on the acetate that it comes with. And as you can see, mine's been used a lot recently, so it's needing a wash. And for that, I would just recommend warm soapy water and let it air dry, sticky side up. Don't try and scrub the sticky, otherwise the glue actually comes off. That's my best tip I can give you with these. But this will be fine. So I'm going to start and I just want to create a lovely sort of ambience to start off with. So for this, I'm going to use, today I'm going to use some element sinks. And I'm going to use violet chalk because I want to sort of go down a purple. I'm thinking magical. But I'm also going to bring in a little bit of Sahara and some midnight blue. But to team up with it, I'm going to bring in my oxide and my mustard seed. Now, we quite often get asked questions about different types of inks. And obviously, I, I tend to stamp with my VersaFine Clay because it's a permanent ink. You can do lots of other things with it. But for me, that's my main because it's permanent. Now, you have um, dye-based inks. And that just means, really, they move with water. You can add water to them. And that's the main difference. There are lots of other subtle differences. Um, but in general, for me, I like to just think of it that way. And often I get asked, why would I use an element? Why would I use an oxide? And sometimes it's just purely, it's the actual colour I like. But also, I can mix them in a design. Don't feel you just have to use your elements or just your oxide. Mix and match them. And I just went for this because I wanted this specific yellow. And you know what we're like with colour. I don't know about you, have you ever done that thing where sometimes I'll be, say, in a shop and I'll say to Carl, oh, I love that, that colour's so violet chalk. And he'll say, what, what are you talking about? And I think, oh gosh, yes, that's an Elements ink. And it's just that, that purple and it's that specific purple. So it is funny how we as crafters see colour 
So I'm going to start with my violet chalk, speaking of violet chalk, and I've got my larger of the stencil brushes. And as always, just... I'm going to put it on the lid, but I've got to be honest, my ink pad, and you'll know your own ink pads. This one's quite, I've used it quite a lot. I'm nearly getting ready for a new one. So I dab it in the lid, but to be honest, I don't need to. And you know me, I start in the corners and then just drag the colour. And I just want it all the way around. Be mindful, there's a slight little lip there. So I need to just try and make sure I don't go over that. So I just want it round the edge and possibly a little bit more at the bottom. So I hope you had a, a lovely festive time and I hope you have had a lovely night last night and that today has been perfect. And I know some of you are on your own, so if you are, I am aware of that so that's why it's lovely that we can come in today and just spend a bit of time together so just so you're not on your own all day so maybe pause this go and make yourself a nice cheeky brew get yourself a snack just one or, or two do you know what it's new year's day if you fancy two get two and then press play again and let's just pretend we're here together and i'm in that little craft room with you and we're having our brew together because I don't want anybody to be on their own. Today, special day, we need to be together. Right, so I've left this lighter area here and that's because I'm going to come in with my Sahara And again, into the lid. As you know, I always go in the lid. And I'm just gently, gently. Now, it's quite dark here today. So my hand may go in the way and we may get a bit of shadow, I'm afraid. So I'm just in this area. If I bring it up, we seem to have an Eric hair there. Just ignore that, please. Do you know, bless him. You can't go anywhere without Mr Eric. He's fast asleep sleep under my table again bless him his arthritis has got a lot worse so he has physio on, on his own medication but i do a hot water bottle and massage his back now it's his legs it's gone into his legs but he does love it bless him so when i record these videos he gets under my table and he constantly looks up at me as if to say is it time for my hot water bottle yet mom N no sorry mate i'm just i'm talking to our friends you say, I shouldn't have said that because he knows the word now. When I say hot water bottle, he knows. So there we go. Can you see? I've just given that lovely. And I know some of our new um, crafters are worried about this join here. Well, what I've carefully done is I've kept the purple away. And then I've started with this Sahara and gone outwards. Now, I've not actually blended the two, but there's almost just sort of where one ends and one begins. And for me, I think that's the best way to do it. I don't want to over blend it, but I like that lighter area. And I don't want to overcook that because that, what I'm going to do is come in with my mustard seed. And as I say, this was just this lovely bright yellow that I wanted. And I've gone to my small and my number three brush. And just in the middle of the Sahara, I want to come in with more of a, a definite yellow just as though we've got something really. And if I lift that up, can you see that? Now this could be the sun, it could be the moon, it could be a magical planet, it could be a spell, who knows? But I just want this lovely, deeper yellow area there. And I shall move those. And then just to give myself a little bit more when i take this the mask off the sticker stencil i want to have a lovely definite edge now i could go around with my black fine liner and again we've done that before you could make a squiggle edge but i just want to add a bit of contrast so i'm going to come in with the midnight blue and and again my smaller stencil brush and i'm just going to start in the corner look and then once i've got the dark in the corner i'm just going to drag some color down that edge and then in that corner and drag the colour up and I tend to find it's easier to actually turn my work so in the corner and drag some colour down 
and I just start in the corner because I've got the most ink on my brush and I want my corners darker anyway so by default because I've got the most ink on my brush then it will be darker and obviously as I'm using the ink up it will get lighter so and this will just help define the work and almost frame it because we're having that lovely sort of white frame this will just give a little bit more contrast so it will give a more defined edge to the frame Ooh, it's alive so I just want to check that all four corners have got enough of the dark and then just along the base here it's going to come in and then just to give a little bit of depth in the design I'm going to get my lovely mini hill masks now you know me so I've got to turn my work to the side and let's have a look what should we I think if we go with this one first and I'll just put a hill here and I want this quite dark because obviously it's at the foreground and it'll almost give a bit of lovely bold definition but do watch this because obviously this is quite a dark colour. Right, I like that. So let's have another one. Now, that's just too much the same shape. I don't want... Oh, that'd be quite nice. We'll go... I think we'll go there. Now, this I want a little bit lighter. Just it'll help with perspective because it'll be lighter in the distance. Now, it doesn't look like I've got any there, does it? So let's lift it up. Oh, we have, look. So let's just give this a swap. And just maybe something in the distance here. So I'm not putting any more ink. I'm just very, very lightly. Just there. And then maybe just the hint of there. I'm not going to bring it all the way down. Look, can you see? So it just looks, you know, when you get that misty illusion. And this is just a background. But the lovely thing is, with this background, just as I, as I wipe my masks, you know me, I've got to wipe my masks before I put them away. So I'm just going to give them a wipe. And as it's New Year's Day, look, we've got a brand new clean inky binky. So, and it will not stay white for long, will it? So I'm just going to give these a good wipe before I put them away. So what I thought about this design is that it, it's lovely and you could use this. So even if you weren't going to stamp the trees on it, you could use this design to this point and then you could decide what you want to put on it. Because again, you've got the basis there haven't you? And again, you could turn this, I mean, again, you could change the colours, different stamps. Now, I'm going to take my mask off and I'm just going to pop it on here, back on its lovely acetate. Now, the reason I've done that is I'm going to do my stamping next. And you know me, I'm a bit of a, a funny thing and you can stamp on these beautiful sticker stencils but for me a I, I just I mean yes it does get permanent ink on it does wash off it does wipe off but it does leave a bit of a mark so for me I just find it easier to cut myself out of paper but that's just me you can stamp on them this is just something quirky to me I'm afraid it's just what I'm like I just don't like dirtying things if I don't have to so the stamp I've chosen is this beautiful spring tree stamp look and with it you get these two little foliage sort of stamps and these are fabulous because they come in, they are so useful, you can alter the way that your tree looks, you can add leaves. This will be beautiful if you wanted to make four, you could actually do a spring, summer, autumn, winter with the one tree and these lovely little extra stamps. So this is called as I say spring trees. Like I say, I spoilt for choice, so many different stamps. And I'm actually going to stamp it in Fantasia because this is magical woodland. I just wanted to go for a colour that I wouldn't necessarily use, but I think that'll go well with the violet chalk in the background. So I'm going to give it a good 
but again I bet you've got so many different colours of VersaFine clay. Now I'm going to come in from the two sides and I almost want them to meet in the middle but I don't want them to overlap so I just need to think about there I'm thinking and again I want to give it a nice inking and just let that ink soak in i don't want to lift it up too quickly beautiful and then we'll just stamp the other side now you could leave it just one side if you wanted you know with a verse there i think that would be beautiful so again you could stop at this point put some lovely words there I, I think that will be stunning but I'm going to carry on with the design as I intended but I might have to have another go at that with half I think that would look lovely I do you know me I often find as I'm having a catch-up with you creating a design an idea for another design comes to mind and again you know if your mojo's gone if you're a bit sort of fed up Often, just start creating, no pressure, just something, blend some ink, maybe have a go with a stamp. And you'll find while you're actually being creative, that helps your juices get flowing and it makes you want to create something else. So look at that, if I lift that off, how lovely is that? And don't worry if we've got odd little bits like this, it's not a problem. Now I want to add a little bit of something along the bottom. So I'm going to come in. We've got this gorgeous foliage set. And I'm going to start off with one of our lovely, almost dangly sort of catkins. And I'm thinking I'll stamp that in the same colour. And I'm almost going to have this as though it's sort of like just grasses growing up. And I'm just going to have little clumps of them look. So we'll have some in the middle. I mean, again, depending what time type um, time of year it is, depending what foliage you've got. I think this, there's so many different foliage that this could be, could just be grasses. But again, I've tried to alter the angle and um, done first and second generation again because I think that helps. Now, there's another little stamp on this that looks very much like twigs. And certainly here at January, but we're into twigs. There's not much flowering. So I'm going to come in with Purple Delight. And this one, as I say, if I just show you on here, look, it is very useful. So I'm just going to have a few sort of twiggy bits as well. And this colour, it's although it's, did I say Purple Delight? See what am I like? Yes, Purple Delight. But it's almost got pinky tones to it. And again, I'm thinking that'll add to the magical. You see, now in my head, I keep thinking of Turkish Delight. Is that just me? See, now I need... That's what I'm going to be need. I love Turkish Delight. But I'm a bit naughty. Not, not like the proper stuff. I like the stuff with chocolate on. I knew I'd get round to talking about food and chocolate. It's January. Like a bit of food and chocolate. So if I lift that off, look, isn't that lovely? Now, I'm aware there's a little bit here, but we're going to get rid of that. Don't worry. Again, you've got the basis here of a gorgeous design. And it's up to you, as I say, how far you want to take it. I'm going to leave that off. And what I'm going to do is bring in my lovely pastel pencils. And I'm going to get the yellow because I want to try and because it's magical. I'm just going to lean on a bit of kitchen towel because it's magical. I'm just going to bring in some almost yellow highlights look on the trees. And because it's pastel, for me, I just find it very forgiving and very soft. And if I just add a little bit on this side, look, but then just smudge it. I almost want it to look, as I say, that lovely, magical. And again, I can just fuzzy that there. 
I'm going to add a little bit in the base. Just the idea. And I'll just add it to one tree and then just bring it up and show you the difference. Now, for me, it's just a lovely way. And I say it's just the pastel. Now, to me, look at the difference between the two. And I just think that looks fabulous. But again, it might not be your bag. You might not want to use the pastel pencils. But I just think it adds that magical glow. As I say, it could be the sun, could be the moon. And just there, look, where it didn't quite stamp. We won't tell anyone. Probably didn't ink it up enough. If I just add that little bit of that yellow there, nobody will ever know because you won't tell them, will you? It happens to all of us. And I certainly wouldn't, you know, start again. And if I just add that, as I say, for me, it just adds that lovely little bit of, of mystique and magic to it. But very simply, but just a quick smudge and that will just fix. We don't need any other fixative. I've not used an awful lot of the pastel pencil. Just enough. But what I do want to do is just to enhance that magic, I'm going to add some stars. And one of our little pound section, I've got this lovely star group stamp. And I'm going to come in with cheerful, and this is a lovely yellow. Because I don't want these to be too obvious, but I just want them to add to the lovely sort of magical feel. So I'm actually going to stamp my first group over the yellow. And although it's not too obvious, I know it's there. And then we'll just we'll just have a couple of clusters of them just shining through the trees. Maybe one there. Right, let me see. Maybe one up here. I don't want to go outside my square. I know, one down there. That's enough. I don't want to overcook it with my stars. Just enough for that lovely magical feel. Now, you could... If you wanted, flick this with water to get some full bleaching. But I'm going to add my lovely sparkle, the yellow glittery Posca. Now, you can buy these separate, I must admit. I bought the pack and the yellow was the first one that I used up. It ran out. But fabulous at Lavinia, they sell it separately now. So I've stocked up and got myself two of these. I'm so sad I use it so much, I bought two. But I'm just going to come back and pop my little square there again I could use my sticker stencil but I don't want to get Posca on it so for me the paper's better just less cleaning give it a nice shake and this is just going to add that nice bit of magic to my trees my lovely woodland and I want it over the top of my trees I really want them to sparkle so I'm holding it quite close and just gentle tapping. Don't need to be rough. Nice bit of magic for New Year. Now it might be you want to stamp one of the birds on the design. The little mini toadstools would look lovely at the base. Do you know what? This is just your starting point. You lot are so clever and I bet you've got so many stamps that you're now thinking, oh Joe. I could add a little bunny. This, you could even make an Easter design out of it. Let's just move this. But look at that. And if I can just get that to twinkle. Look at that. You see, I've been having lessons, look, how to make things twinkle. Hmm. If only. But I just think that is beautiful. And to finish it off, I'm going to come in with some lovely words. And this is from our Sentiment Stickers, set six. And as you remember, we get three lots of the lovely stickers. We get the black ones on black, the ones on white, and I'm going for the vintage. I just think that'll go lovely. But the hardest thing for me, ladies and gents, you know what I'm like? I, I, I have got so many fabulous... You see, we have got magical things, and this is, after all magical woodland but is that too obvious see this one's going in my in my journal let me just think mm -mm -mm. do you know what i'm actually going to go for let your th thoughts go because i think 
I'm here in this beautiful magical woodland and that's what's going to happen. My thoughts, my little mind, I'm just going to relax and and that's what we need to do every so often, isn't it? Just relax. Now, I've got some new scissors for Christmas. Look off my lovely friend, Dan. So, sentiment on there and I'm just thinking, no, I want this one in the middle. So, I think that's about middle and that's about straight. And there we have it. So, as I say, magical woodland. Get your tree stamps out. Maybe add some little creatures, little toadstools, mush. Oh, do you know what? I just can't wait to see what you all create because I know it's going to be magical. So I've got my lovely envelope there. There's the original. And here's the one that we've just had fun creating today. It's amazing the difference when you mat and layer. Just different shapes, look. Anyway, I really hope you enter the challenge. Everything's on the website. Just pop along to the Lavinia website. So thank you for joining me today. Honestly, it means so much. Have a lovely evening. You take care of yourselves. And guess what? Pop back tomorrow. I might do another woodland. I've got so many tree stamps. I might have some animals in this one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm off to have another play. Might have a cheeky brew first. You take care. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.